Today I'll tell you about an unlucky game. Unlucky because if it was released six months earlier, probably today it will be fresh in our minds. This game is Enthusia Professional Racing, also known as uh, the game who has been crashed by Gran Turismo 4. The game starts with an overdramatic intro. Sometimes I wonder if uh, all that drama was necessary. But I guess it's the typical standard intro for a Japanese game. Enthusia. The menu is less spectacular compared to GT4, but it's easy to navigate. Enthusia has five game modes. Enthusia Life, basically the story mode. Driving a revolution, basically the driving challenges. Time attack, free racing and uh, versus racing, the two player split screen mode. Counting all location and versions, the game counts 40 different tracks. Most of them are fictional tracks, but it features some real ones, like uh, the Tsukuba Circuit and the North Life. All tracks feature the reverse version of them. So, before you ask, yes, you can run the reverse version of the North Life against the AI. Some tracks feature rain and night modes as well. To compare, it's almost the same amount of tracks you can find in Gran Turismo 3, so quite decent in my opinion. Talking about cars, the game features a good amount and variety of models, even if way less compared to Gran Turismo 4. Here I have unlocked all 211 cars present in the game. It's a good amount of cars, even for today's standards. But as I told you before, Gran Turismo 4 was unattainable thanks to its uh, 700 cars. Still, as you can see, cars are very well made with a great amount of polygons for 2005 standards. And uh, you know, in some cases I think uh, they were made uh, even better than uh, Gran Turismo 4. Variety is pretty good. There are a lot of street legal cars, then you can find rally cars, street tuned cars, Dakar Rally, Super GT cars, DTM, all the race cars and the Le Mans prototype.
Visually, the only thing you can customize is the paint. So, no custom rims, no wings, no race car conversion, even in story mode. That's a serious luck for Enthusia. Before we go, I want to praise one thing of this game, the setup system. It isn't so detailed, in some parts Gran Turismo 4 offered you the possibility to tune your car with higher precision, but it allows the player to understand immediately the effect of its changes, in terms of car reaction thanks to the graphic on the center. I'm pretty sure this is the best game to learn setup if you are a total beginner. Graphically, if uh, we don't consider issues of my emulator, we can say it reaches uh, the high levels offered by Gran Turismo 4. We can say it's almost a draw. Too bad that this game was available on PlayStation 2 only. I'm sure if it was available on uh, PC as well, it will be, have been uh, the racing game with the best graphics of 2005. Here I upscaled the game multiplying the native resolution by 5. Despite some graphic glitches and sky and shadow, Enthusia looks stunning for a 2005 game, especially if we observe the car itself. One little thing I like of this game is when you pause it, your car turns on the turning signal. I know, it looks stupid, but I really like it. <laughs> and now the part you're waiting for, physics. This is the best part of Enthusia. Some people will hate me for saying that, but in terms of physics Enthusia feels superior compared to its main real Gran Turismo 4. The weight transfer is very very well made, and you can clearly see it on the yellow arrow on the game's hood. I could say these are the best car physics you could find on PlayStation 2. Cars feel very natural while cornering. The body roll is extremely realistic. You can feel and see the car reactions. Thanks to that, there is a huge difference in terms of feelings between a real wheel drive, a four wheel drive, and a front wheel drive. Too bad I can't use my steering wheel. I was too curious to test the force feedback. In fact, there is a video in the game which uh, shows you what I'm talking about. Car and Enthusia's car. Enthusia accurately recreates the actual physics of a moving car. Real cars and real physics. Physics recreated on Enthusia. Above is the physics of an actual car. Below is the physics recreated on Enthusia. Recreation of real physics. Enthusia. The tires model is pretty good as well, but uh, the biggest lack of it is there is no tires wear present in Gran since the first chapter. Instead, there is no fuel consumption either present in Gran Turismo 4. But uh, the thing about Enthusia and Gran Turismo 4 have in common is they don't have mechanical and visual damages. 
talking about the common things between Enthusi and Gran Turismo 4, we can see the similarities between the menu design, the menu music, but also tracks such as Deep Forest Where I Sway and Autumn Ring, popular fictional tracks in Gran Turismo. That's one more reason why Enthusia lives under the shadow of Gran Turismo. It's basically a very well made clone. Talking about the career mode, here is another reason why Enthusia isn't as popular as Gran Turismo. The events are divided in weeks, and there aren't money to buy and customize your cars. You only have the N2 points, which you earn if you drive clean and according to the difficulty. The goal of the career mode is to reach the first position between 1000 drivers. If you finish all the N2 points, you can't race for one week. Yeah, original but not so editing as the Gran Turismo car remote. Then you have the driving challenges. Pretty fun, but sometimes they remind me too much the Gran Turismo driving licenses. One more similarity with the Polyphony's game was the rally mode, even if it was marginal in the game. As I told you in the beginning of the game, the only chance of Enthusia to get more popularity was to be released 6 months earlier in 2004, because when it came out most of people had the Gran Turismo 4 already, and the new generation of console PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 were announced already for 2006, so players, me included, wondered why they had to buy a Gran Turismo clone, even if well made. The amount of realism was superior on some aspects compared to Gran Turismo, but the lack of some features and the lack of originality killed even more the popularity of this game. Konami had the potential to enter in the world of sim racing, but because of their bad managerial choices they failed. But hey, at least those who believed in this project I bet they had a great time playing it. Because, uh, let's be honest, this is a great game. Unlucky, yeah, but great. <laughs>